the topic of this presentation is meselson and stars experiment and uh, by this experiment these two scientists proved the semi conservative replication of dna before discussing the experiment we must understand the meaning of semi conservative dna replication here i have shown a parental dna this is a dna duplex and before it undergoes replication this duplex under uh, unwinds separating the two strands and on both the strands new strands are synthesized as a result two new duplexes are formed these are the two newly formed dna duplexes and in each duplex complex one is the old strand this pink one is the old strand this is the parental strand and the new uh, this is the newly formed strand the pink color uh, this blue colored is the newly formed strand so in this way in these two duplexes which are the newly formed duplexes one strand is the old one and the second blue colored is the newly synthesized strand and in this way half of the uh, structure is intact half of the structure is old it is conserved and it is intact in the newly formed duplex such synthesis is known as semi conservative synthesis uh, therefore the dna replication is considered to be the semi conservative replication now we will discuss the meselson and stahl experiment and uh, first of all i must tell you some of the basics related to this experiment first of all learn this thing that these are the nitrogen isotopes these n14 and n15 these are the two isotopes of nitrogen and uh, uh, this is the normal isotope and this is the heavy isotope n15 is not at all radioactive isotope but the density of n15 is more than that of the n14 density that's why this is called n uh, this is called the heavy isotope of nitrogen so there are the two isotopes n15 and n14 these two isotopes were used by meselson and stahl in their experiment this is one point very important to uh, related to the experiment second very important point we need to understand is that we used escherichia coli this bacteria in the experiment and this bacteria um, um, undergoes cell division every 20 minutes it means in every 20 minute the dna undergoes replication this is the second very important point we must understand before uh, discussing about the um, experiment now we will start the experiment and we will see what these experiment uh, these scientists did in the experiment so first of all these scientists they grew escherichia coli in a culture medium containing the n15 Uh, isotope this is the heavy nitrogen isotope and we must also know where these nitrogen uh, this nitrogen is consumed dna consist of nitrogenous bases it also contains nitrogenous bases recall adenine guanine thymine these are the nitrogenous bases which uh, are present in dna so uh, in the synthesis of these bases nitrogen will be utilized so first of all they grew escherichia coli in a culture medium containing the heavy isotope and they grew this bacteria for many generations so that all the dna of this bacteria could become incorporated with the heavy isotope of nitrogen and uh, after many generation whole dna whole dna of this escherichia coli became uh, incorporated with n15 and this dna is called heavy dna this dna in where both the strands are incorporated with n15 such dna is called heavy dna and uh, whenever this uh, dna undergoes uh, centrifugation then it will settle at the lower level of the uh, in the lower level because it is a heavy dna in comparison to the normal dna in which n14 is present normal dna contains n14 and uh, the, uh, being lighter it will settle in the upper level after during the centrifugation but this uh, this dna being heavy 
it will settle it settles in the lower level during centrifugation so this uh, this is the first step of the experiment in which they uh, they uh, grew the escherichia coli in culture medium containing heavy isotope and they grew it for many generation so that they could synthesize the heavy dna now they uh, grew such e coli with heavy dna in the next in the in another medium which contains the normal uh, nitrogen that is the n14 and they extracted stereoacea coli just after 20 minutes it means one cycle of replication has been completed by 20 minutes so they they extracted stereoacea coli just after 20 minutes so that uh, uh, recall semi conservative dna replication so now the dna its dna contains one uh, heavy DNA strand and the second strand is the newly formed and it contains N14. Such DNA is of intermediate uh, density. Uh, it is lighter than this heavy DNA but heavier than the normal DNA which contains um, N14 only. So one strand is incorporated with N15 and one strand is incorporated with the N14 isotope. So this is the intermediate DNA and it settles somewhere in the middle, not very lower level, not the higher level, in the middle during centrifugation. And this was the first replication cycle and then they extracted Escherichia coli after 40 minutes. After 40 minutes means two replication cycles were completed within the 40 minutes and then they uh, extracted DNA from the Hysteresia coli and after centrifugation they uh, found two layers of DNA. This is the upper layer and this is the lower level uh, layer of the DNA and this uh, upper DNA is the lighter DNA both the strands are N14 and this uh, is the intermediate DNA uh, layer and in where one strand is the old one whereas the other is the newly formed N14 strand this is the old N15 strand and this is the blue one is the N14 uh, strand now uh, visualize this uh, parental dna so when the this duplex unwinds then one strand is the n15 which is intact here and the other strand is the n14 so this is the old n14 and other one is the newly formed n14 strand so in this way messelson and stahl conducted the experiments and on the basis of this experiment they confirmed the semi conservative uh, dna replication all these findings can be explained only on the basis of semi conservative dna replication the messelson and stahl experiment has been summarized in points on this slide for your reference please check your understanding by answering this question download pdf for accessing notes related to this topic